What's going on everybody? It's Sunday fun day because you're here back with me and my name is Mason from Self Made Athletes where I like to talk about fitness and health related things for the everyday person looking to get into shape. Yo, what is you doing bro? Didn't you say we do an Angry Birds today? So I'm leveling up Kiwi so that we can fight these damn pigs. Who the f is Kiwi? And you know damn well that that ain't the Angry Birds I was talking about. Kiwi is my bird, bro. I meant we're doing Angry Bird the workout. God. Hold that thought for a minute. A few moments later. Get your butt up off that seat and let's get ready. Wait, wait. Damn, my guy, I said wait. Just wait. One eternity later. Sorry you guys had to witness that. He be clowning sometimes. Today's session is Angry Bird. It's gonna be a superset resistance workout where we're gonna change the tempo and the timing of certain movements while focusing on either the upper or lower part of the body and also work on the core and abs. We've got three pods and each pod has five exercises. We'll do one set per exercise and repeat each pod's sequence three times over where the timing changes per lap. So lap number one is gonna be your slow and heavy uh, lap where we're doing 40 seconds of work with 15 seconds of rest. Lap number two is gonna be your normal lap. So 35 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. And lap number three is your fast and light round with 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We get a quick water break in between each pod, so don't forget to have your drinking water close by. Today we'll be using a pair of five liter water bottles, a pair of 1.5, liter water bottles, these new glute activation bands that I got from Decathlon, and my new favorite pump chasing accessory, North King's BFR bands. I'll throw the links down below if you want to check them out. Also, we're gonna be using another accessory today that I don't expect you to have on hand, but if you do, that's great. If not, no worries, I'll be demoing the exercises without it as well, but it's this little guy right here, uh, an ab wheel. Are you ready for our workout? Eventually. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I beat the pigs. New high score. Let's get warmed up. All right, in about five seconds, we're gonna get warmed up. High knees and punches, here we go. Going into star jumps. Shuffle abductions. Dropping down mountain climbers. Shoulders above the wrist, brace the core, drive your knees up nice and high. Lying down on the ground, hands in a T position, knees together, swing your knees from side to side, open up the lumbar. All right, hip thrusters, nice big squeeze of the glutes at the top. Coming back up onto our feet, we're gonna tuck our fingers underneath our toes, raise the bum to the sky, turn the crown of your head towards the floor, groin and hammy stretch. Up and down, and one more push. Good, standing tall, hands at shoulder height, jump twist. High knees, run it in place, drive your knees up towards your waistline. Last but not least, we're gonna finish off with five burpees. Let's go. Woo. All right. 
right, we're getting ready guys. In about 10 seconds or so, we're gonna get ready for our first exercise. Go ahead and grab your five liter water bottles. We're doing a Romanian deadlift. All right, here we go. You're just gonna have your weights off to the side here. You're gonna hinge at your hips, push your bum backwards, keep your chest up, your back straight, let the weights carry you forward and then come up, okay? There's no tempo here, so you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Just make sure that you keep your form, okay? Excellent work, everyone. Good. Have a slight bend in your knees. If you really feel that stretch in the hamstrings, Good work. Less than 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, we're gonna hold on to those five liter water bottles and we're gonna do a uh, backwards or a reverse lunge and then a knee upwards, okay? There we go, holding them off to the side. Reverse lunge, front knee doesn't cross, or yeah, front knee doesn't cross the toes, back knee doesn't hit the floor. That leg that just went back is gonna come up into a knee raise and then we're gonna switch sides, okay? Hold the balance and then transition into your other foot. One more, three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, everyone. Go ahead and grab your weights one more time. We're lying down. We're doing weighted hip thrusters. So having the water bottles on top of the hips, the left. Here we go, 40 seconds of work. Making sure you squeeze your glutes at the top and the body is relatively straight. If you look up, you don't want your body overarching like this where there's gonna be a pinch in the lower back, but you don't wanna to come too low where your hips are still kind of sagging, all right? Nice straight body. Excellent, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Well done, everyone. All right, we're moving right along. Go ahead and grab your activation band. Wrap it around the top of your knee. I'm using the lighter one to, to start off with. We're gonna take two steps off to the side. One, two, reverse lunge. Try to drop that back knee as low as you can. Head on back. Stay nice and low, keeping constant tension in the quads, so don't let your knees cave in like this. See how the resistance band just, or the activation band just kind of collapsed. Make sure you're pushing your knees out, stepping out, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. Oh yeah, there we go. One, two. Excellent work guys, five seconds. One, two, and rest, all right. One more, we're doing a sumo style deadlift. Sumo style means that our feet are gonna be placed wider than our shoulders. And then we're gonna go into our Romanian deadlift style. Here we go. Water bottles in front, feet wide apart. Coming down, hinge at the hips once again, push the bum back, let the water bottles carry you forward, chest is up, back is straight. And this time in the deadlift, you'll feel a little bit of a stretch on the inner part of your hamstring. So the backside of your quads, you're gonna feel that pull, a little stretch, and then you'll know that you're doing it right. Excellent work, everyone. 10 seconds here. Three, two, one, rest. All right, those were the first five exercises. We're gonna repeat that all again. First exercise, grab those five liter water bottles. We're doing regular deadlifts. Three, two, one, here we go. Water bottles right to the side of your legs.
Well done, everyone. 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, rest. We're hanging on to those, okay? We're gonna go into that reverse lunge with the knee raise. You're getting ready, about 10 seconds or so. All right, here we go. Reverse lunge, knee raise. Hold it for the balance and switch. Great work, guys. And rest. Don't put those weights away just yet. We're going into hip thrusters. Loading them up on top of the lap or the hips. Again, ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Five seconds left. And rest, excellent work. All right, quickly coming up. This time, I'm gonna use the heavier activation band and see how we get on. Oh, that's a lot tighter. All right. A couple steps to the side. Drop down, reverse lunge, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, come on. Keeping constant tension in that band, guys. Do not let it come loose. Fight those resistance, whatever resistance you're at. I think the block here is the hard one. Step in, step in. And rest, excellent work guys. Take those off. We're moving in to the next exercise. Grab your weights once again, whatever that weight might be. We are going into sumo styled deadlifts. Yeah, ready, feet, set, here we go. Now one thing that I noticed at sometimes, a lot of people like to go for depth, but then they skew their backs and they turn and round. So what I want you to do is as you come down into your deadlift, if this is as far as you can go, but you can keep your back straight and your chest up, then come on back up because you've already felt the stretch in your hamstrings, right? If you come down and you're rounding, that's a big no-no, try to avoid that. All right, quick rest. Third lap coming up, it's a quick one, it's the lightning round, starting off with our Romanian deadlifts. Okay, grab your water bottles, three, two, one, there you go. Rest, shake things off. My grip is so sore from these water bottles. All right, back on it. Here we go, reverse lunge. Knee raise. Ten seconds. 
three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, lying down, going into a hip thrust. Weights are coming up, here we go. Five seconds, couple more hip thrusts, and rest. Well done. Quickly slip on your activation band. Three, two, one. Here we go. Constant tension. Step in. Step in. Good. And rest. Excellent work, guys. Grab your weights. Five liter bottles, here we go. Sumo style deadlifts. Keeping the chest up, back straight. Almost there, you guys. Three. Two, one, water break. Woo! One full minute here, guys. The lower body pod is done. We're moving on into the next pod. We're gonna focus on upper body. Make sure you grab some water here. Wipe off your sweat. The very first movement that we will be focusing on is an isometric hold. Now, I know a lot of you guys don't have a uh, pull-up bar at home, and if you do, great. Some of the pull-up movements definitely use that. But for those of you who don't, obviously I wanna tailor to that. So we're going to grab our 1.5 liter water bottles. We're gonna do a lying pull-up or sub scap, but we're gonna hold the water bottles in place, okay? For at least like three counts, okay? So coming down, three, two, one. Tend to pull up, hold. Okay, try to hold it as long as you can. For those of you who can't hold the entire time, we got about 25 seconds left, you can do sub scaps. So moving your arms up and down. For those of you who find holding the water bottles too difficult, go ahead and drop them and just squeeze your shoulder blades together. That works as well, okay? Just wanna squeeze and practice using um, our backs appropriately and making sure that our scapula is working. All right, and rest. All right. Next up, guys, we're doing lying chest press. Go ahead and grab your weights once again. Coming down, here we go. Press the water bottles up. Light touch of the elbows to the floor and then back up. Ten seconds. Four more reps here. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right, back up onto our feet. We are gonna do a underhand grip row. So your your palms are gonna face away from your body. You're gonna hinge at the hip once again and row the elbows upwards. Here we go. Grab your weights. Rowing into the belly button or the waistline. Make sure that we're driving with our elbows. Don't shrug your shoulders as you come up. Keep your chest up, back relatively straight. Fifteen seconds. Ooh, the grip on these are horrendous. Or maybe it's just my grip. Three, 
two, one, rest. All right, guys. Now, the next move is the one that you saw on the cover. It's called a dive bomber. So you're gonna start off in a pike position where your bum's up in the sky, and you're gonna drop the, your head. Here we go. You know how to do it, go ahead. Okay, you're gonna drop your head by bending your elbows. Bend your elbows, drop your head down, and as you come close to the ground, you're gonna turn, swoop your face, the hips follow, chest is down to the ground into a cobra. From here, you can either just come back up or you can reverse the motion. So, bum first, face, chest, head, and elbows. All right, go one smooth motion and back. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent work, everyone. It's a tough move. For those of you who can do it, excellent work. All right, next up, we are doing an arc, a full arc. Okay, working on the shoulders and the subscap again. So just taking the water bottles, palms facing in front, drawing a big circle around you, up to the top and back down to the side of your hips. Okay, stand tall. You don't need to purposely have the water bottles behind your head, okay? At the moment, my hands are in a T. Arms are just right beside my ears, okay? That's how we're gonna draw the circles around us. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent work, guys. Those are the five exercises for our upper body. Let's go ahead and repeat that, starting off with the lying subscap holds, all right? Grab your water bottles if you can, or if you want to. Here we go, 35 seconds of work. Draw it back, pull up, and hold. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Five seconds, guys. Hanging in there. Three, two, one, rest. Excellent. All right. Lying down on our backs now. We're going into a chest press. Three, two, one, here we go. Excellent, guys. Three, two, one, and rest. Awesome work. Next up, underhand grip rows. Remember, guys, you really want to drive with the elbows. Pull backwards, okay? Don't shrug your shoulders upwards. Grab your weights, whatever that might be. Here we go. Pulling into the belly button. A couple more here, five seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Awesome. Going back into those dive bombs or dive bomber push ups. All right. All right. Starting off in that pipe press. Oh, not quite time yet. I saved some energy. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pike press. Bend the elbows, heads down first. 
Turn the face, chest, hips, cobra. Going chest, hips, face, chest, elbows, back in the pike press. Good. We have about 20 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, doing full arcs, standing nice and tall. Grab your weight of your choice, whatever that might be. I'm gonna use these 1.5s here. Yen ready. Three, two, one, here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys, we're repeating that cycle one more time, or that sequence, I should say. Lying down on our tummies. Lying sub scap holds. Three, two, one, let's go. Ten seconds. Excellent work. Three, two, one, rest. Woo. All right, quickly transitioning. Chest press. Here we go. Three. Two, one. Ten seconds here. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Stand it up nice and tall. Next exercise underhand grip row. Here we go. Pulling right into the belly button. Three, two, one, rest. All right. The hard stuff, dive bombers. You getting ready? Three. Two, one, here we go. Five seconds. And rest. All right, last one. We're drawing full arcs around us. Here we go. Ten seconds. Amazing work, everyone. Three, two, one, rest. Woo! Lower body, upper body. Done for the day. We are going into core and abs next. We're gonna do five exercises just for the core. Don't forget that we're gonna be using this new little accessory that you may or may not have. If you don't have it, once again, that's okay. I'm gonna be demoing uh, the same exercise without it, okay? It's actually something that we've been doing previously. This just takes it up one notch. Woo, all right. We got about 20 seconds or so. Grab some water, wipe off your sweat, and we're gonna get started. The very first exercise we're doing is feet up crunches, okay? 
in about 10 seconds. Use your yoga mat if you'd like. I don't have one today, so onto the ground we go. Knees up, feet up. There we go, crunching. Try to bring your elbows towards your knees. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys. So this is where we're gonna use the ab wheel. All right, you're gonna just have a towel of some sort, and you're just gonna place your knees on the towel and take a roller and roll out as far as you can. Here we go. You're gonna try to get your chest parallel to the floor, almost touching, not quite, and then make your way back. If you feel a pinch in your lower back as you wheel back in, it might mean that you're going a little bit too far. Your lower back isn't strong enough to support your weight yet. So just go until you can make your weight back safely, okay? For those of you who don't have this wheel, we've been doing inchworms and it's exactly the same movement. So you're gonna come up onto your feet, coming down, inchworm your way out as far as you can. Start bracing your core, reach, reach and then come back, okay? That's the alternative, rest. So if you have an ab wheel, go for the ab wheel. It's gonna work your core more, you gotta brace it. If not, inchworms. Next up, guys, we're doing heel taps. So lying down on the mat once again, coming up into a crunch position and you're gonna reach for your heel and tap on both sides. Easy peasy, here we go. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, guys. Next up, staying down because we're working our abs. We're doing Russian twists. Grab your water bottle, whatever weight that might be. I'm using the five liter. Here we go. We're just tapping away on both sides. Now, there's two variations to this. You can have your feet or your heels on the ground. And you're just turning your upper body to touch the water bottle. Keep your chest up as you do so. For those of you who are strong enough, lift your feet up and continue tapping on both sides. Now, as you are tapping with your feet up, make sure that your feet, they're not swinging around like this. You wanna really work your core, right? So keep your feet stable or as stable as possible and touch on both sides. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent work, guys. All right, next up, we're doing a low plank diagonal reach. So we're gonna go into a low plank onto our elbows. We're gonna reach out off to the side about 45 degrees, opposite arm to opposite leg. Here we go. Low plank, reach opposite and back. Opposite and back. Now, as you reach out, try not to let your hips Swing too much, brace your core, okay? Keep your hips nice and low as you reach out. And if you're feeling like you're a little bit unstable, you're gonna tend to have one of your limbs, most usually it's the arm that comes in first to try to catch yourself. I want you to try to practice controlling both your limbs that are stretching out to come back in together. Okay, that's gonna work your core a little bit more. And rest. Excellent, guys. Those are the five exercises for core and abs. We're gonna repeat that. First exercise, feet up or knees up, crunches. Lying down, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. Elbows, try to get them up towards your knees. That's a nice little crunch. Woo!
Excellent work, everyone. Keep it up. You got about 20 seconds left. Three, two, one, and rest. Excellent. All right. For those of you who have the ab wheel, we're going to go right into it. All right. Wheeling out as far as you can. For those of you who do not have the ab wheel, no problem. Go ahead and do yourself some inchworms. All right. Three, two, one. Here we go. Excellent work, everyone. Try to get as low as you can before coming back. These are not tough, I'm telling you that right now. Last one, five seconds. Ah, woo! All right. Next up, we're doing heel taps. Coming up into a slight crunch position. You're gonna flex the top abdominals and then go from side to side. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. For those of you at home, no cheating with this one. You wanna have your heels so close to your bum that it's so easily touched, you know, just Regular stance, okay? If you want to make it harder, have your feet closer together. That way you have to reach more. Three, two, one, rest, excellent. All right, grab your water bottles. We're doing Russian twists next. You already know, I got my five liter. If your feet are up, try not to swing too much in your Russian twist, okay? Again, ready? Three, two, one, here we go. While you tap, make sure your chest is up. Don't let your shoulders round and cave in on you, okay? You guys are doing amazing. Keep it up. We got one more exercise after this, and then one more lap. Three seconds left. And rest. All right. Going into our diagonal or our low plank diagonal reach. You guys ready? For those of you who are struggling with the balance, try to control your limbs coming back in. All right, for those of you who are swinging your hips, tighten that core, don't let your hips swing. Here we go. Low plank, reach out. Three, two, one, and rest. Woo, where has the time gone? We are into our very last lap of the very last pod. Guys, finish strong. Summer's right around the corner. If that helps motivate you. Back down, knee up or feet up crunches. Getting ready. Here we go. Three, two, one, rest. Amazing, all right. We ain't playing around. Ab roller one more time. Last one here, guys. Here we go, 20 seconds. Try to go out as far as you can. 
kiss the floor if you want to. I don't know if I want to kiss this floor. This floor's kind of dirty. Just make sure that as far as you go out, you can always retract back. Ah, oh, jeez. Sorry, that, that was me in agony there. Reaching out, okay? Just make sure that as far as you go out, you can make your way back in, okay? That really works on your core. Next up, guys, heel taps. We go holding. No cheating. Don't drive your heels close to your bum. Three, two, one. Woo! Almost there, guys. Russian twist. In three, two, one. Here we go. Tapping away. Keeping the core tight. Legs not swinging, chest is up. You guys are doing fantastic. Keep it up. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right. Final exercise, last 20 seconds. It's our last little push, guys. Uh, low plank, a diagonal reach. Here we go. Three, two, one. Woo! Awesome, awesome job, guys. Well done for completing three weeks of this F45 45 day fitness challenge with me. Um, I really appreciate you guys just coming out, showing out every day. And you know what? Honestly, we've been at it for three weeks now. Um, and we actually haven't taken any rest days but i do want to stress that for those of you who might be new to fitness or you're just coming back from um you know some kind of recovery anything like that please 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 take some time off for yourself having one day off or two days off is very good for the body it allows your body to just uh, make sure it has the full recovery to prep itself for the next workout so if you ever need to break the 45 days, that's okay. Just have half uh, a full day to just recover for yourself. Um, just be careful. It can be a slippery slope. Don't get into a habit of just completely not doing any exercises because you've gotten so far. But for the rest of you who are able to continue or who are up for the challenge, please feel free. Continue to work out with me. I love having you guys here losing weight isn't always just about working out uh, diet is very very important as well as sleep and recovery okay guys that's all i have for you i'm looking forward to working out with you next week tomorrow we have got a killer workout it's called three p and it's almost like a fitness test um, it kind of gives you little targets and you've got to try to do that within a certain amount of time without further ado guys this ends Angry Birds. Have a wonderful rest of your Sunday. This is your boy Mace. Peace.